The history of thinking on the possibility that there might be more than the three dimensions that we all know about, more than just left, right, back, forth, and up, down, that history actually goes pretty far back. There was a Finnish physicist named Gunnar Nordström in the early years of the 20th century who suggested this idea. It independently was suggested by a German mathematician named Theodor Kaluza. And that's really where the modern story of extra dimensions really launched from. He recognized this possibility of other dimensions and injected it into Einstein's general theory of relativity. You see, Einstein, when he developed his equations of general relativity, naturally envisioned that there were three dimensions of space, one of time. And in that framework, allowing space and time to warp and curve, Einstein was able to describe the force of gravity. Kaluza said, there are other forces besides gravity. There's the electromagnetic force. Could it be that I could play the same game? Could I imagine that electromagnetism is associated with warps and curves? But immediately he faced a question, warps and curves of what? Einstein had already used up space and time. What was left? So Kaluza said, maybe there are more dimensions of space that we don't see, and warps and curves in those dimensions would be responsible for the electromagnetic force. And indeed, he wrote down the mathematical equations, he took Einstein's math, allowed for one additional spatial dimension that we don't see for some reason, and when he worked out the math, he found the equations of Einstein for gravity, but because he had an additional dimension of space, he found an additional equation, and lo and behold, that additional equation was none other than Maxwell's equation of electromagnetism. And when he found this, according to his son, he sort of jumped up from his desk. He sang an aria from Figaro. He was so thrilled by this realization. And that's what started our thinking, that extra dimensions might actually be a viable idea.